Yeah, I get mad at GoPro sometimes, but he really does an awesome job. Follow along as we continue on our voyage to Cuba, make our one big tack east towards shore, enjoy some awesome winds along the way, monitor our power situation, and get a fantastic dolphin show at the bow. Yeah, you, you capture three stuff all the time. I know, I know, I know. I'm still mad. last video we had some pretty heavy healing going on and it wasn't long after that sunrise on the second day that we decided to reef the Jenny further forward. Try reefing this Jenny. Ugh. In almost 16 knots of breeze. It's like the weather and wind uh, it's not gonna let up so it might blow 16 all day so we're kind of trying to get ready for that. You'll also see I'm wrapping the line around my hand here. Do not do this. Do as I say and not as I do. I hate to say it. I feel like sometimes it's the only way I can pull the Jenny line in. You want it like hauling all day? No, I mean, I just don't want a big old, because more belly is so... And because we received so many comments from followers and friends on how we could have improved our sale plan to reduce the healing, I put together a blog post on my website this past week on sail trim tips to reduce healing of the boat. If you haven't had a chance to see it, definitely go check it out. Some really good sail tips in there for you. Halfway in. Well, let's, you know, we gotta do little by little. It's fine, once you got a little in, it's clamped. It didn't feel too bad. Um, Stupid wind vane. The arrow this morning creaked its way of the antenna and was like... <laughs> just like a stupid piece of plastic can break our VHF antenna and we lose VHF and AIS because of a piece of plastic. That kind of stuff can be like, really? Are you kidding me? Come on, baby, you're hot. Um, but thankfully it came back down. The wind vane's down. Yay! Um, um, but Philip's taking a nap right now because he was holding since like 4.30 to 8.30. Um, a lot of work and hand steering a lot of that to smooth the boat down. So he definitely deserves a break. I'm having some breakfast, trying to stay rested and comfortable because um, we expect it will be like this for the next couple of days. Check this out. So here's the stove. Nice and gimbaled. On her, she just stays, which is kind of crazy. It's, it's crazy to think that's straight, upright, and we're not. <laughs> that's the truth of the matter. We still have those 15 to 14 winds right on the port bow, but the boat's holding really well. It's healed, but pretty smooth. Definitely, the boat's uh, doing a very good job of it, so it's a pretty day. I mean, definitely can't complain when your day looks like this. The other gimbals. <laughs> we'll be over. And it wasn't right after we sat down to eat, we got a visit from our aquatic friend. Yeah, that's so fun to see him. You're so cool, I love him. We are really going up and down. I'm getting so close to him when I come down to the water. Get 
is so cool. I'm whispering because uh, Philip's asleep. Seriously, right after Philip laid down to sleep, we had another pot of dolphins come, even more rambunctious than the first. Up to the bow. I, you know, you try to count, but it had to be like 20, 25. And I'm not, I'm not lying. Like, you can watch the footage. So cool. And one of them jumped like SeaWorld. So big. I hope I caught it on film. to Eastern time and still averaging close to five, you know, it kind of pops over five under four. Winds died down just a little bit. They've been blowing about 15 all day. Um, real nice angle though. Looking good here on our trek to Alabama. Not even far away now. And, um, you know, two days, maybe less. So we could be there Sunday this time, but it would be nightfall. So we probably wouldn't want to come in. Um, Philip is a little worried about the reef coming into Havana. It's kind of narrow with rocks on either side. And if it's blowing pretty heavy, we, I mean, I don't know if the winds are going to lay down, but we definitely want light, you know, even if we can't get good winds. Um, so it's, it's going quick, man. It's like too fast. <laughs> this boat is sailing itself to Cuba. And autopilot's got it. It's like no problem. No problem. Just another day. It's like the best trip ever, though. So glad we're going. I love it out here. Bye. The bridge planning has gone really well. We think we've definitely conserved a lot of power. We'll have to crank once today to get back up to 100%, but that might last us the next two days. So just one engine crank, which is great. pretty cool. We installed, in preparation for the Cuba trip, an inverter on the boat, primarily to charge my MacBook because it's too much wattage for the DC panel. It just triggers the fuse and um, won't charge it. So we put it under the floorboards. All we have to do is remove this floorboard here. And then I can reach it. Um, I'll show it to you in just a moment, but I can just push the button there. And my cord is right here for AC power so I can plug in my MacBook and then we can put the floor back together while we're underway that way it's safe um, so I can charge my computer while we're on passage. So I'll show you right here under the floor. Can't wiggle this up. <laughs> it's technique to it. And the inverter is right there. Hope you can see it. There's the inverter. It's just a West Marine 500 watt and the cord runs from it right here along the wall through to there. So all I have to do is reach under the floorboards, press it on, say good morning, and then I have my cord already plugged in, ready to go, and whenever I'm done charging, just say good night, and then we put the floor back together, and good to go. Got it plugged in, juicing up, juicing up, so doing all of our uh, juicy juice stuff while the engine's like really pumping it in, good time to do it. We just tagged, and GoPro, you took like one picture. You're so stupid. But, um, nice now, we're on a good line. We uh, just let it up forward of the mast. Um, so we've got a much deeper reef in the Jenny now, probably like third reef easily, which is great. The wind's blowing like 16, 17. 
the rudder? What's going on? Uh, I was just talking to Philippe. He's giving us some more model information. Get it. I definitely like the feel of this tack. While we knew we were going to have to tack east at some point as the winds were pushing our rum line so far west towards Isla Mujeres, we didn't think when we tacked we would be pointed so far north, 68 degrees. So after about 30 minutes, we got a little restless and decided to tack back, which is not something we like to do just for fun when we have the force day up as it's so hard to get the Jenny through that tiny slit. But the good news, I did catch it on film this time. We held that heading of about 185, 190 for another two or three hours before we decided it was officially time to turn east and we tacked back around 8.30 that evening and held it for the rest of the night. Two thirty-three. So, but we feel good. We definitely don't feel exhausted. Uh, we're just kind of getting rest when we want it and enjoying the passage together for sure. And using this as a trial run to see how far we want to go offshore, just the two of us. But so far, doing great. This would be the start of day three, and we'll be tacking back uh, south soon. Next up on our last Cuba Voyage video, we finally slough off those stinky foul weather clothes. It's bathing suit day! I can't. Share with you a rather dicey decision to fill our diesel while underway, as well as a somewhat alarming rudder post repair. And then there's just like that plate here that's bolted to the deck. And what was happening is the three screws that bolt that plate that the rudder sits on top of had become loose even though they have lock washers i don't know why and most importantly make landfall in cuba yeah <laughs> gonna be so proud man that's a cuban sun right there stay tuned is resting after her long voyage to Cuba. We hope you've enjoyed the journey. If so, please like, subscribe, and follow along at havewindwilltravel.com and enjoy this beautiful sunset. Key West, Mallory Square.